Hey everybody, Southern Pollock here. We're at the Highway 124, North Cadron Creek Access. This is out between Quitman and Gravesville, Arkansas. And actually kind of between Quitman, what's well, between Quitman and Damascus, between Quitman and uh, Gravesville area. Um, this bridge here is named after a fella, uh, Wilbur Brock. So it's a real Wilbur Brock Bridge. Um, they own some property out here and lived out here in the area and I think maybe they had bought some property up of theirs when they um, built this bridge and they named the bridge after him. Anyways, we're going to go out here and check out this part of the, the Cadron Creek at this access. So first off, they got a nice little parking area down here under the bridge area. That way you can uh, pull down here and park. And they got some nice steps going down to the Cadron Creek. It looks like this might be some type of canoe or uh, kayak launch type setup here. A lot of birds hiding up there underneath this bridge today. And we're going to go down here and check it out. See what we can do. See what we see. See if we can catch anything. So here at the bottom, you can look down that way. And the creek keeps on coming from their direction. And it flows down this way like this. So the way it's all set up from the past videos, we got... Um, this one here, which is the Highway 124 access for the Cadron. And then it flows on down. Um, I have a video on the Mill Bridge Road. That's the Cadron. Then it goes down to the Highway 65 access. And then uh, the 285, Highway 285 access. So I got videos on different parts and points of this uh, little creek. I might be calling it a river, but it's a creek. So I apologize for that. <laughs> So all sportsmen's type, uh, you know, creek. Um, when the water's higher, um, people float this, kayak it, um, fish it. They use this nice little swimming holes. So, yeah, there's plenty of different places to access this creek. Well, folks, I caught me a little crawfish. He jumped on my, jumped on my uh, hook. He didn't get hooked, but he was pinched on my line. He wanted that worm. So I uh, got him up here. He's pinching the crap out of me. They do have some good little tight little pinchers on them. But uh, yeah, crawfish all over the place here. All over the place. I don't know if you all can see it or not, but there was a snake right there. A little snake. Sorry for the blurriness, but yeah, a little snake down there by that rock right there. Just an old little water snake. My son right there is uh, fishing with a topwater fly. And they're just nibbling on it and nibbling on it. Little by little. We're trying to find the honey hole here, folks. Trying to find the honey hole. Oh, he got one. Look at that, man. Cool. You got him a fish. Oh, check that out. Awesome. Little, but hey, it's a fish. You got to pop that thing out of his mouth. Let me see. Awesome, awesome. So, out here fishing, I'm fishing with one of these Zepco slingshots. Literally, this uh, rod and reel has a combo at Walmart with like 1098 or something out the door. That's 10 something. Um, it works. Um, these, uh, Rod and reel combos have their disadvantages and sometimes have their advantages. Um, there's a story behind my whole fishing collection and short story, I should say. And uh, I had to go buy me one of these poles so I can go out and do some fishing this year. And uh, my son has one of my older good poles I actually kept. 
um, ugly stick with a pretty nice reel on it. But uh, yeah, the Zepco slingshot, it works. Um, it gets the job done in a pinch. Um, not my favorite by any means, but it gets the job done. Gets you out there and gets you fishing. Cheap pole, cheap reel, but hey, it's all about having the fun. Yeah, when I go out fishing, of course I bring stuff to stay hydrated, but I bring snacks too. You gotta have some snacks when you're out doing this stuff. Man, look at that. He's out there still getting some pretty good nibbles and hits with that fly off some with some smaller fish. I just put some worm back on my hook. And I'm gonna enjoy me a little snack and a little drinky poo and get back at it. Making our way back down to the other side here. Here's some butterflies having a good old time. We're making our way down this way now. Let's see what we can rouse up. My son here had a bass up on his line a little bit ago and got it up to him and it flopped off. I'm like, dang it. It happens though. It's part of this, this sport. He's having a good time. Hope he found him a fishing lure too. No hooks. <laughs> no hooks. <laughs> Can't. Can't beat that, but ain't no good with no hooks. So we were way down there. Now we're gonna truck down to this other side over here. See if we can rouse anything up down this side. So we made it past the bridge. Just kind of mosey on down in the water here. A lot of schools of fish, tons of schools of fish. There's some action going on down there in the water. Yeah, definitely a lot of fish in here. And it's been a great time out here, just enjoying nature and and uh, the water. It's just, uh, it's nice to have these amenities uh, so close to us here where we live in Arkansas. Uh, moving from Michigan about five years ago, um, we didn't do much fishing because I didn't know where to go, where to start off. And I'm glad we did and started hunting because uh, there's a lot of great outdoors here in Arkansas and fortunately really close to me where we live. It's a nice place. This one is a bit well, yeah, he got one. Barely. He got one. He got oh yeah, they're in here folks. He is. He is. He's barely, is he barely hooked? I'm barely. Barely through that little lip. Oh, that's good. That's nice. And there you go. Slip back in the creek. I got nice the joy of fishing. The joy is fun. Even though it's some work, it is also relaxing. You know it's some work. And I tell you right now, my damn water shoes, I dug out of the closet, been sitting there for a while. I done lost my tread on my dang shoes. It's like walking in a pair of socks. But hey. And does a trick. They're working for now. I'll give me a new pair. Oh, he got another one, folks. He got him another one coming in. Oh, yeah. They're getting bigger and bigger, dude. I thought I was stuck. They're getting bigger and bigger. Let's take a look at that puppy real quick. I, th I thought he was stuck. Oh, yeah. Check that out, folks. Oh, yeah. I like that. So we're getting them out here at Cadron Creek, folks. We're getting them. We're getting them. We're getting them. Yeah. Making our way along here. Making our way along. He caught a couple more bluegill. Oh, yeah. And that's how far we are away from the bridge. We're making progress. Going along here fishing. He's trying not to fall <laughs> in the water. He has swimming trunks on and everything, and nothing really important but his fishing pole and his fishing reel. But you know, a couple of times he almost didn't make it. <laughs> uh. Oh man, but we're trucking along here, Cadron Creek, Cadron Creek, Highway 124 access. That's where we're at today. Checking it out. So now we're out here rock hopping. It ain't very deep, but we're out here rock hopping, going after these gills and stuff. Um, 
it's kind of slow going when my water shoes decided to give out and my feet are stiff. It's bad news, folks. Bad news. But anyways, we're making it through here, having a good time. Another thing we noticed, uh, you know, coming up through here and fishing here and there and catching some gills. Um, did notice quite a few fish beds, a lot of fish beds with fish on them. You know, they're a little aggressive, but they're little fish beds. But, uh, yeah, more fish are being made as we speak. <laughs> We're going to keep on trucking up here and see what we can find and explore. Oh, <laughs> he just took a dump. You all right up there? I kid, he's fell more today than I can say. But the slippery ass crocs he got on. So we're making it further and further, folks. Look at that. Rock cliffs. It's just different. There's not like a little beach or little, it's not really a beach, but kind of like a trail over there in a way. Um, there's probably people's properties up here on each side of this uh, Catherine. So the Catherine Creek. But yeah, lots to take in. Well, everybody, that was the Cattern, Cattern Creek, 124 Highway Access. Brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish. Pretty fun place to come, fish, explore the creek. It was fun. It was fun. I'll show you what made it miserable. My old water shoes from years ago that were intact just kind of like fell apart. I mean, literally fell apart. So like walking on these smaller rocks. Oh, my feet hurt so bad. Yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And get out there and check out these waters out here in Arkansas or even in your neck of the woods. They could be a good time, good exploring, and some good fishing. Southern Pollock is out.